This cigarette, Chesterfield King, gives all the advantages of extra length and much more. The great taste of 21 vintage tobaccos grown mild, aged mild, and blended mild. No wonder they satisfy so completely. If you just took this puff, you'd agree. It's the softest taste of all. How's it going? Um, thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna try and crank out a a douche I'm gonna show some 12 inch vinyl records and um, maybe say things about them. Um, just not, I've just not been feeling well the last couple uh, months, so I'm kind of behind on things. Thinking though, maybe I'll go, um, you know, see a doctor or something. I feel like maybe, like, at some point, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> um, so I think maybe I will. But, um, you know, until then, we can uh, have some beer. I, I just opened this and realized that I've already had this. We've already had it, you know, in a previous douche sewed. Um, but I'm going to have it anyway. <laughs> so this is uh, Church Music IPA from the Shop Beer Company. So I've talked about it before. So I won't talk about it. Here, I can't remember where it's from. Oh, it's from, it's from Tempe, Arizona. Anyway, it's not bad. Really um, kind of rough weather week. A lot, of, a lot of storms for this part of the world. Um, when a big tree blew over overnight, like I woke up and it, had, it was on the roof of my car, I was in a covered parking spot. So the tree was on the roof of the spot that my car was in. So that, that was, that was um, kind of exciting. Um, I kind of was hoping that it might get my car totaled, but you know, God just doesn't like me that much. So I'm gonna show some records. Uh, I guess one or two are kind of new, but kind of backlogged and showing things and also just in personally listening to things. So this is what I'm showing this time. It's got, I think, a handful of 2021 new or 2021 releases and then um, some reissues. A couple of which I think are from last year. So, you know, I'm gonna do that and then it's gonna be over. You're gonna, you're gonna, move on with your life as I like to say. Okay, first up this is um this is I think the newest of this stack of records. This came out I think a couple weeks ago when I got it. Time is time is hard for me to keep track of. <laughs> this is uh Poroshka is the name of the band. The album is called Love Drips and what is it Love Drips and Gathers. This is their second full length LP um, this is, uh, I guess you would call like a, we'll call it a dream pop super group of sorts. It has Mickey from Lush, lead singer from Lush um, on here. It's Michael Conroy from Modern English. <clears throat> Justin Welch, <clears throat> who's in, uh, in Elastica. And then uh, Moose. Moose from Moose. I think his real name is Kevin McKellop, something like that. Um, so yeah, second LP, uh, I'd say a bit more, um, maybe a little more adventurous than the debut, which was called Brickbat. Um, I don't say like, it's more restrained, especially the way that it opens up uh, with more like, introspective, I guess, songs. It kind of builds up as it goes along. 
Um, probably say that I don't like it as much as, as Brickbat. It's a different kind of record. Um, but I do like it. I listened to this already about five times, front to back. Um, show, you the, show you the stuff, but like this is the printed on a sleeve. And the, there's a lot of tiny words on here. Um, I should have paid more attention. I think that like the artwork is a nod to Von Oliver and then there's a, one of the tracks on here is called VO, which is a, you know, I guess a tribute or a dedicated to Von Oliver. And I think they're all on, on clear vinyl. Clear is like, um, I'll show you what clear looks like. It looks like, sort of like this. This is the debut album by a band, uh, I believe, out of San Francisco, if not San Francisco, that 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 neck of the woods. It's called The Umbrellas, self-titled debut album on Slumberland Records. This is also another 2021 release. Um, yeah, so debut LP. Call it, call it, you know, it's indie pop. Um, I think the way I would say it is like, it's jangle pop in like a Paisley Underground vibe, but twee, fairly twee. It's got boy girl vocals. Um, there's a little bit of uh, some my moderate dream pop elements in stages. It's really enjoyable. Um, they definitely wear their influences on their sleeves. Um, you know, energetic pop, energetic jangle pop. This insert has has uh, words, picture. They call this um, clear, <laughs> clear green. This one is. Look, it's almost Coke bottle. second LP band out of Melbourne, Australia. They're called Quivers. The album is called Golden Doubt. Kind of a cool, uh, cool cover. Um, yeah, so court, yeah, quartet, Melbourne, Australia. I call this anthemic, summery, jangly indie pop. Um, so the, the lead singer's name is Sam Nichols, Nicholson, I believe. I, I, th 
think that I've read like he, he cites a lot of 80s bands as 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 influences and also like Teenage Fan Club um so it definitely has a lot of those 80s and 90s influences but it also there there are also modern touches I, even like the song Hold You Back the third song or the third track it has a little bit of um arcade fire I would say in it like a very specific very specific parts of that song like very remind me of a very specific arcade fire song I wish I could put my finger on it but anyway um yeah so the quivers golden doubt this is the answer has photos a bunch of words this one is on um, it's a really cool, um, really cool, delicious black vinyl. I never want to see the light. I never want to see the light. I just want the rain to come. Spent too much time in the gutters Too much time in the gutters Too much time in the gutters of love you your phone into the water Except this is a um, fourth LP from, from a group out of Philadelphia the name of the group, I guess, is called Hurry. An album is Fake Ideas. It's on Lamo, Lamo Records. It's one of it's one of these jobs. I don't really, don't really see a lot. I don't really see a ton of those, you know. It's got, uh, you know, so you can. I guess you could change this out if you wanted to. Isn't that amazing? Um, so this is a group, I think the leader's name is Matthew Skyline, Skyline, I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, it's just really, really heavily inspired by 90s power pop groups. Um, it's dense, you know, dense kind of fuzzy guitars. Um, I'm gonna actually read the hype sticker. It's mostly up tempo. The production is not too slick. The hype sticker actually, you know, points to references like the Posies, Matthew Sweets, Teenage Fan Club, Tommy Keen, Velvet Crush. Like a lot of that stuff can definitely can definitely hear it. Um, I feel like that the more you're into uh, kind of lesser known power pop groups the more you're gonna like this I feel like if you're only casually into it I just don't I don't know that this is gonna stand out for you necessarily but um, definitely an enjoyable record for those that are into it into that kind of music this is on uh, what they call natural natural color vinyl so if you're not familiar with natural
next set uh, reissue. This is um, an album that originally came out in the year 2000. It's a debut LP band out of Los Angeles. I think I've seen people show this. This is uh, you know Beachwood Sparks self-titled album. This is the I think this was uh, reissued maybe at the end of 2020. I know I tried to get it. I think there was a special like a maybe maybe a color variation or whatever and couldn't get it at the time and then just didn't really even think about it then for a while. Um, really nice packaging on this reissue, I have to say. Like really high quality uh, gatefold, nice vinyl. Um, so this is something of um, like an alt country slash psychedelic, like almost psychedelic country. Um, I guess if you want to call it that psychedelic country rock record. Um, I remember when this came out, I really liked this a lot when it came out. I don't know that I've listened to it very much in the last 10 or 15 years, but at the time that it came out, I was really a fan of this. Uh, so this has the original album in the original running order with the original tracks <laughs> on the first LP because the original LP... Um, I think it, it omitted a track. At the very least, it would have one less track, and it may have been a different um, running order. The second LP has uh, like bonus material, I think like a Sub Pop Singles Club thing, and this was originally on Sub Pop. This reissue is on Curation Records. Interestingly, the, I think the one of the first songs by Beachwood Sparks that I heard. It's called Sweet Julie Ann on like a compilation, and that's not, in, and I, I like that song a lot. That, that's not on here. So that's kind of um, somewhat irritating. So it's got uh, a couple inner sleeves. My version is just on, uh, you know, just on delicious black vinyl. It's like a, like a boatload of words there. Anyway, I'll try to play a sample. I, I think a lot of people probably are familiar with this, either like it or don't like it, but it, if you aren't and it kind of sounds interesting, it's worth checking out. Beachwood Sparks. attain a copy and then I was not clear if I would I thought maybe I was never gonna be able to get one and then now you can get them so this is this is actually a compilation of singles from the 90s band heavenly it's called about about day heavenly <laughs> singles this is on damaged good Re goods records um, yeah so this compiles all their all their seven inch singles you know, I just talked about um, Catenary Wires. This is as Amelia Fletcher and Rob Percy that are in, in that, that group. Um, I think that the, all the singles up to 1993 were originally on Sarah Records, and then there might have been a couple other ones that happened after that. So they're from Oxford. I think they were active 89 to 96. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's indie pop. It's, it's also, it's fairly twee indie pop. Some people might say pop punk. Um, I think it's, I think really good, uh, really good band. Nice collection of singles. This is the insert. And 
And um, I don't. I'm sure there's probably other other variants. This is just on uh, again on on a delicious black vinyl. <laughs> Issue. This is the 30th anniversary edition so of the 1991 album from BMX Bandits called Star Wars. Reissue is on past, past Night from Glasgow. I talked about BMX Bandits before. Um, it's, uh, I guess you'd say it's something of a Glasgow supergroup uh, led by Douglas T. Stewart as um, you know, Joe McAllenden from Superstar, Francis McDonald and Norman Blake from Teenage Fan Club, and Gordon Keene and Eugene Kelly. Eugene Kelly was in The Vaselines. Gordon Keene and Eugene Kelly were in Eugenius and other things. They were in a lot of bands. Well, this is also another one of these. You know, it's, you know, you don't see these very often. Um, so this inner sleeve. This side. I can show some of those pictures. So I think. Um, wow, well, this this is their second album, um, and I think that's their first fully realized album. I don't know if that's fair to say. That's the way I'm going to say it. And and is the first in a string of, of high quality output, in my opinion, by BMX Bandits. I think a fair way to describe them, I guess. Um, kind of like, kind of like a teenage fan club type thing, but crossed with the Beach Boys or something. It, even on some of the other records, it's even more like surf it's just kind of pleasant guitar pop. I wouldn't so, I wouldn't, I guess some people might call this power pop. I wouldn't go quite that far, I guess. But anyway, 30th anniversary edition. There's no, I think it's just the album. In fact, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just the album. I can't remember the name of the, label that was originally released on? I can't remember. It's on um, silver colored vinyl. Um, appreciate you hanging out. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do this again uh, real soon. I think I might have... Um, we'll see. I might do um, another LP revisited of some sort. I think there might be a video 
Ah, I don't know. There might be a video that's going to be mostly of, of some of these uh, reissues that are coming out kind of bundled into one. But then that makes me wonder why I didn't keep some of these reissues for that. <laughs> but, you know, um, these douche episodes, you really, they're really unpredictable. Any, anything could happen. There's no rules in douching. Um, yeah. Take care. Bye. Calling rivals nasty names. The music biz is a dirty game. It doesn't matter what you hear. All that counts is their careers. And all the egos of pop stars. I sit and watch them all go far. We'll leave this world and run away and play our songs in outer space.